All right, Shalom. 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 All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises on and glory due to you. How up, my Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful like Akiyam out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. 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 And through the spirit and power of our power, Yahweh Bashim al the Lord has a, allowed us, has put in his spirit on us to do this video. Lord willing, it's edifying. And we titled the video, Some Things We Will Not Be Delivered From. Some things we will not be delivered from endure, you know, because the scriptures say, um, when thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, kind of, you start off in that. Because we're going to have to go through a series of things. And yes, we are to pray to the Lord. But some things the Lord is just going to allow us to go through to test our integrity. To test our faith, to test to see if we believe, man, and it and it's it's it, it may not feel good, man. It may not feel good. It may it may feel weird. It may feel hard. But as long as we trust and believe in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, all things is gonna go well with us, man. We might lose things that we we thought we wouldn't lose. Or we thought we wasn't gonna lose, you know. You may lose a, a, a job, or you know, a woman, or you know, um, your house, your health, your health. That's right, bro. But ultimately, it's a test. Ultimately, it's a test, man. Some things we will not be delivered from endure. The scriptures say, "He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved." You got it, bro. Um, this is um. A classic cuss also named Mr. Rock 2 and I started verse 1. It says my son, if thou come to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation. When thou comes to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So when you come into the truth and say that you believe in the Lord um, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen to you that never happened before in, in our lives, man. You know, like some of the things uh, we was just mentioning, mentioning that the brother said your health might start to fail you. You might start to have different things going with your body that never happened mm -hmm. before you came into the truth. You know, you might have um, a woman that you was with for, for years, 10 years, 20 years, um, just leave you because you believe in the word or the truth. Your kids that you love, that you took care of. Um, since they was born might turn against you because what you believe in, you know, and, and but we got to endure these things, man. And the most high may not give you your kids back. He may, he may, they may have to be um, destroyed. That woman may have to be destroyed. You know, we don't know, man. You know, that, that, that job may, a most high may take it from you and, and, and make you, um, go without that shit to test your integrity. You don't know where the, the money about to come from where you're going to pay your bills, man. You might have a thorn in your flesh as a apostle uh, as apostle Paul did, man. He had a thorn in his flesh that he prayed to the Lord to, to take away from him. And what the Lord did, he didn't never take it away. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was I prayed to the Father um, three times to take the cup away that he had to go through, that he had to endure but the Lord didn't take it away. So we got to gear our minds up um, to, to, to um, be ready to go through whatever and endure what we got to go through in our lot. Because the Lord may not take it away, even if we pray to him and ask him. Man. Because it may be to, to refine us, to, to prove you us. You said what? Keep you humble. Keep us humble. That's right. You know, which is a beautiful thing, man. Which is a beautiful thing. See, and we understand this, bro, because the Lord has given us the wisdom to understand. The scriptures say, um, what um what wisdom what, what all thine getting get understanding. 
and we get the understanding through the through the accounts, through the Holy Spirit revealing these things onto us, what we gotta go through, what we gotta, what we gotta suffer, man. You know, because the Lord had to suffer, we're gonna have to suffer, man. Yeah. So we can't get um lackadaisy in this truth, like it can never happen to us. Because mm -hmm. anything can happen to us, man. We can we we subject to anything. We can't forget about that bet that Job, uh, that 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 the Lord uh, that Satan, um, the Lord and, and Satan had, man. Mm -hmm. And a brother can hold that, man. You got kind of, it. This is a classic cuss two and two. Set thy heart upright and constantly endure. Set thy heart upright and constantly endure. No matter what you're feeling, man. No matter what you're going through. That's why the Lord has given us hope. The hope in him. To have faith in him. To trust in him. No matter what we're going through, we're, we're going to be able to endure it and, and deal with it because we trust in you. How about your mouth shot? What is what it what it say in uh, Revelation chapter two verse ten? Mm -hmm. uh, fear none of those things which which thou shalt suffer. You can mm -hmm. grab it, Baba Kusha. You know, cause um, it say um, be thou faithful unto death. death. Mm -hmm. That's that's ser that's a serious matter, man. Right. Yeah. This thing is very serious. What we're <laughs> on, and just like this past um Saturday. When we was taking the uh, glimpse at that that movie, um, um, Book of Clarence. Book of Clarence, yeah. See, and that nigga, he, he didn't count the cost, bro. You know, he didn't count the cost, <clears throat> and at at the end, he had to be hung because he, he, you know, he 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 claimed himself to be a prophet. Mm -hmm. You know, and so and this thing is, is is deadly serious in the things that the Lord is going to require of us that's saying we believe in him, that we trust in him, that we believe that, that he can get us out of any situation or give us the strength to get through any situation. Right. We must believe in that, man, because the things that we're about to be faced with, hey, hey we're going to need the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah upon us to make it through. And if brothers have anything, man, uh, by by all means, bro, time in. But he about to get time. he about to get on um, this preset real quick, and then you got it, bro. You uh -huh. got it. This Revelation two and verse ten: Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So we 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 know that we're gonna have to suffer in this truth, man. So you can't come into this thing thinking that everything is going to be peaches and creams, that you're not going to go through nothing, that you're not going to suffer through nothing, man. We are put here to suffer for the sins that we transgressed, that our iniquities that we committed it, uh, to our father, man. So whatever we go through, we got to gear our minds to deal with it, man. Whatever it be, a, a infirmity in the flesh, whatever it be, losing things, man. We got to endure that. You got it, bro. I got that um, quick definition on suffer. Pasco. Pasco. It's Pasco. It says to be a, um, a, afflicted. No, to be affected or have been affected to feel or to undergo. It said in a bad sense to suffer sadly. Mm -hmm. And be in a bad plight. And I looked at that word plight. It goes into a dangerous or difficult or otherwise unfortunate situation. Mm. And so we're going to have to um, suffer hardship in this truth. This Revelation 2.10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. And we are a... Just because you pray to the Lord to deliver you out of that prison, he may not deliver you, man. It might be your lot. Right. It may be your lot to, to be in there, to endure that, to go through whatever that you got to go through, man. This is this is us counting the costs. This is us um, making our bodies a living sacrifice, coming into this truth, um, um, believing in Yahweh Shah, saying that we believe. 
the things that that we're gonna have to suffer, man. The things that we're gonna have to go through and endure. Good to say, endure hardness as as the good soldier. I got that. I got yeah. that recently. Okay. You got it, bro. You hold you hold on deck. You want me to keep reading? Yeah, kind. Then Revelation two ten, Karen <laughs> said, "Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days." Mm, that's a period of time. That ten days, you shall have tribulation ten days, which is a period of time. Or it can be two months, a month, three months. We don't know, bro. Whatever, whatever, however long it is, we're gonna have to trust in your how about Shimon Shai. And that's why the Lord is building us up on um, right now mm -hmm. through His Word by praying, by fasting, mm -hmm. by coming back to Him. By going through this um low ship that we go through, um go through in our lives, the yeah. things that we lose, the things that we go through, the hardship. The Lord is building us up for this time to come, man. So mm -hmm. don't be disenchanted. Take it cheerfully, man. Love it, embrace it. Because that means the Lord is dealing with us. The scriptures say the Lord chastised those he loved, man. Which hey, the Lord showed that He love us, bro, because He revealed this His mysteries, His secrets, like the brother was just going into before we started up the camera, man. Mm -hmm. he, he revealed this this truth onto us, man, and He and He telling us the secrets, bro. Mm -hmm. Part of the precept. Okay, you got it in there, that brother. You get this precept. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's serious as hell, man. That's so serious, bro. Hey, we may we might lose our lives in this truth, man. And hey, 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 we might have to see our our, our, our children die. Mm -hmm. See, we we might have to die. <clears throat> yeah, kind. I want to say. Is, Oh, you got it, bro. You I want to say real quick that beautiful precept Marco War brought out. Uh, that word "try" goes to uh, the Greek word "parazo," and that go really the Lord is proving us. It's a test, mm -hmm. so we got to keep our end of the bargain. We we it's Christ to say you, you come to the truth. I mean, really, it's the truth. But with my son, prepare thy soul for temptation. You come to serve the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing. So we we said we gonna serve and we gonna go to the end. Okay, the Lord gonna test our butt out then. I'm gonna take it, woman. I'm gonna take that beautiful daughter. That oh, he know he loved that middle son or that oldest son. Oh, he loved that dog. Whatever it may be. So the Lord gonna test us with those things, man. That's Just that's why that. we gotta. That's why we gotta be diligent in this truth, man. That's why we can't put nothing before you. How about Shemar Shah? Because the Lord is jealous. And we serve a jealous power, bro. And if you put more of your time into something or loving something more than him, he going to take that shit away, man. He going to take it away. And Thanks. just to touch your ass, just to see if you're going to be willing to, to, to um, accept that. Yeah. <laughs> Is you going to curse the most high because he took what was very precious to you? Are you going <laughs> to trust in your how about Shemel Shah and endure? We got to endure, bro. This thing ain't no game. This is deadly serious business that we're a part of, man. We serving the Heavenly Father, and every time we pray to the Lord to tell him to test us, give us more hope, more faith, more endurance, we telling the Lord, hey, test me. Do whatever. I'm going to be with you until the end. And we calling on a true name. So most trust and believe the Lord hear us. This is serious business. That's why we can't be fucking around in this truth, man. That's why we can't be playing no games with your how about Shemel shot. Thanking you, plan, because hey, the Lord, the deceived and the deceiver is his, man. But you got it, Tony Walk. Now, <clears throat> this is first Peter 4 and verse 12. And I'm gonna read to verse 14. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Which is to try you mm. as though some strange thing happened unto you, you know. So it's gonna be a lot of things that we're gonna go through in this truth, man. You know, it's gonna be strange, you know, kind of out of the ordinary, out of the blue, you know. And we all ain't hey, suffer that, man, in this thing, man. You know, situations 
pop up a cure. You know, the Lord may take you through a, a different spell to where things may be going good, you know, for you. The Lord may be blessing you, but then the Lord will bring hey, some hardships, some hell, man. And like the brother said, to prove you, to see, you know, uh, hey, hey, do you do you do hey, hey, even even when the, the bad times occur when you are without a job or you without, you know, you, you basically when you just without, just to say it like that, you know, not even just a job, anything, you just without, you're lacking, you're down bad, you're a hey, hey, the hey, 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 are you still gonna believe and call on the names of your how about shot? You still gonna go to camp, you still gonna do the work, you still gonna you still gonna do lessons, you still gonna fellowship, you know, you still are you gonna, gonna pray? Up, you still right. gonna play your role. And whatever position the Lord puts you in, in the truth, man, you know, and, you're going to lie. If I can say, if I can say a, a, that's a beautiful point that brother just, uh, the brother Hamayan just made, bro. He said, are you going to pray? Are you going to call on the father that's putting you through this hell? Uh, the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai? Is you going to maintain your integrity? Mm -hmm. Because a, a, it might be a period of time that we have to suffer what we have to suffer. Or it might be until we up out of here. Yep. Yes, sir. You got it, bro. Hey, that might be you paying for your, you know, what you did in your past life. That's right. Yep. Yeah. God. Having to suffer for that little bit. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit, bro, because uh, in the scriptures, we know that hey, the Lord even told Apostle Paul that, man, that hey, he, will, he will suffer, you know, a, a, a many things for the Lord name's sake, man. There's a lot of things that Apostle Paul himself had to suffer all the way on his way out. You know, a thorns in the flesh and different things. So that's why the scripture tell us not to count it not strange because this is nothing, you know, that a, our, our forefathers are old didn't go through. Man. You know, we hope and pray that we some of them men coming back. You know, a, a, this, this condition of the of the battle. You know, it says. Okay, Verse 13, but, but but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of you got it, bro. It's a lot. I said, um, verse 14, verse 13 it says, But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with the seeding joy. You see, so the scripture tell us to rejoice, you know, because hey, the suffering that we're going through, and hey, we're partaking in the suffering of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah himself, man. You know, and hey, that's why the scriptures say, hey, if you suffer, and hey, you shall reign with me, because you got to look at it like that, man. The suffering and the things we're going through, we're suffering this, hey, right along aside our Lord Yahweh Shah, man, because when he was on the scene, he had to suffer, man. You know. Right. And then at the end of the day, we got to look at it through the spirit and realize we, we trying to do whatever so that we can make it right with him. Right. Like, hey, that's why in this prayer said, thy will be done. Mm. We got to accept whatever his will is, not only, you know, according to prophecy, but for our own life. You know, you can't run away from it. That's why the Sarah too it said, um, uh, without change to a um, um, lower state. Yeah, change, be, a be on. Um, Take a shift you chain to a lower state and to cleave unto him and depart not away so that the Lord can increase at your last end because a lot of people when they catch here, they try to run away from the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. They try to go seek carnal things to, you know, um, comfort, com them. comfort them. Yeah, right. instead of, hey, like the brother was saying, hey, uh, through the spirit, if you're going to go back and pray to the Lord, you're going to still worship before him and you still going to keep that same fervency or are you going to murmur against the Lord? Because yeah. if, 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 if you don't, that means you're a hypocrite, bro. Mm -hmm. Lord ain't fucking with no hypocrite, so he gonna get you to fuck away from it. He he ain't gonna deal with that, dude. You said you believe in the Lord, you partaking of the Passover, you partaking of all these holy things, and when the Lord put the hell on you for for your sins, what you did in your past life and in this life, you turn your back on the Lord. Oh, you don't want to serve the Lord no more. You want to do what you want to do. Lord ain't with that, man. That's why we got to be grounded and rooted in this thing, man. That's why we got to know what we involved in, serving the Lord. That's why a lot of people can't come into this thing. That's why the Lord has a remnant that's going to be willing to suffer as our Lord did, man. He suffered for the glory. We got to suffer for the glory, man. Mm -hmm. We he, he can't just suffer and he the Lord and we don't got to go through nothing and, and endure, man. No, it don't work like that. 
Right. That's a false balance. <laughs> he, he, he said the servant ain't greater than his master. They If they persecuted me, they Period. should persecute you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And like a beautiful point a brother brought out on um, during Tuesday call, a hey, um, brother was speaking about how um, even King David, man, you know, a hey, hey, that's why the scriptures go into why King David was a man after the Lord's heart, because even when King David did wrong, and the Lord chastised him, he never he never um forsook the Lord, man. He never would and worship another idol. He never you know turned his back on the Lord and cursed the Lord. Nah, he suffered it. He endured it. And he went through it, man. That's the same a spirit that we gotta have, man. You know. When we read in these things and we're going into these things, that's why I should say the things that are written in four time for our learning. Because a hey, hey, the, the men are old and the true sincere believers are old, they give us a hey, that that fervency in their spirit to how we supposed to walk now, man. You know, because we see how the Lord carried them back then. And if we move in that same spirit, the Lord will carry us now, man. You know? Gotta believe. But um the last verse on this, and brothers got it. It says verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name. Of Hamashiach, happy are ye, mm -hmm. for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh rest of upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified, man. You see, so if we catch hell and we be reproached for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we know, and but we know that we're actually doing right by the Lord. We're actually a living up to our measure, and it's to say, happy are ye. See, if you're being reproached and you catching hell, but you know you ain't doing and living up to the measure and the standard in your life that the Lord got you living, then you ought to feel some type of way, man. You know? And, and, and you really ought to repent because at the end of the day, if the Lord punishing you and putting hell on you and you constantly finding yourself in situations where things just always bad, then you need to check yourself, man. You know? Because our Lord is balanced. You know, the Lord will put a little hell on you. But he also give you blessing, man. If you find yourself in a situation where everything just seemed to not be going right, but you claim you serving the Lord, then it got to come a point in time where you got to check your damn self, man, you know, and make sure you're doing right by y'all, by Shem, y'all shot, you know? Because a lot of times it comes with Jake, man. Jake don't be doing what the hell they supposed to be doing, and the Lord be punishing them, man, you know? It always, it goes back to us, man. It starts with us at the end of the day, you know? We got to make sure we're living up to the measure or whatever, level the lord got you at in this truth man you know brothers gotta do i had some real quick brothers ain't have anything bring it out bro all right Kern. this is uh saint matthew chapter 20 i'm start at 17. <clears throat> it says and yahweh shy going up to jerusalem took the 12 disciples apart in the way and said unto them behold we go up to jerusalem and the son of man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify him. And the third day he shall rise again. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, what wilt thou? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand, and the one on the the other on the left in thy kingdom. But Yahweh, but Yahweh shot answered and said, Ye know what ye ye know not what ye ask. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of? And to be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with, they say unto him, we are able. Now that can fly over people's head, though, you know, because, hey, hey we, first and foremost, we don't know who we, hey, I, we don't know what our lot may consist of, man. So coming to serve you, how about Shemai was shy? It, 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 it come with a lot because um, we, we're paying for our past sins, first and foremost. And we're trying our best to make it right. So just to land back out the topic, you know, the spirit of the topic about having a, you know, the, the Lord may not, the, you, you, and Jacob Trevor, you may not want to go through a concentration camp. You may not want your head cut off on the guillotine, but that may be your lot. You may not want your, uh, your woman, you may pray for your woman them not to take the, the, the seed here for your children, but it may be their lot. 
So that we we a hey, um our forefathers in particular um lot when 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 his wife looked back, he kept going. When 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 Joe's wife did that nonsense, he kept going. Yeah, they felt some type of way, but they they hey, the fear of the Lord, the love of the Lord was way more important because we got a duty. If I can say, Job too, he lost his kids. He lost his kids, man. Lost everything. Everything, right? I'm about to say, if I can't add on to that, but you had some Kaya. Uh, yeah, I have one, but you, but you straight. I just want to add on to that brother point. Now you got it, bro, because what the sons of Zebedee's um mother was asking Yahweh, basically, could her sons be honored, be put up in a high position? And what the scriptures say before honor, humility. It's humility right. is right. Humility bro. goes into humiliate. Right. So I got a definition for humiliate. It says to cause to be or appear lower or more humble, mm. depressed, especially to a base and estimation. It says subject to shame or disgrace. You hear, mm. you hear all those, bro? That's what we got. That's what this truth is about. Taking Suffer. the load, mm -hmm. being humble. That that path to difficulty, which means straight the, gate. the straight gate, yeah, being persecuted, being, persecuted, being hated, defamed, yeah, because Slam. because Yahweh told them indeed they're gonna drink of that cup. And if I'm not mistaken, James was put to death by Herod, mm -hmm. you know, so that 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 a hey, that please a hey, that's why this truth is a stumbling block to people because they look at it by serving the Lord. And you coming back making it right, the things you got to go through is wrong. No, it's not. The Lord is not unrighteous. Right. You're just making it right with your power, bro. And hey, people, people got that um that Christian church mentality. <laughs> when you come to the Lord, you gonna prosper and, and stuff like that. That's what people be thinking, man. They thinking um of the prosperity doctrine. Cause, cause the the, the um, pork chop pastor, he never going to these scriptures like this, man. What mm -hmm. you gonna have to actually go through? Just like the time of Jacob's trouble, these churches don't be bringing out the time of Jacob's trouble, the suffering that we're gonna have to go through. Like you just said beautifully, brother, some of us gonna have to get our head chopped off, man, and say that. Uh, um, uh, um, if a brother ain't got nothing, grab that Revelation twenty, um, twenty and uh -huh. four. Yeah, Kyan. Kyan yeah, I, think I was done with my precept, but I think Kayan had something. Yeah, grab that revelation real quick, Baba Kusha. Anybody. I got you. Oh, you got it, Mark 4. Yeah, I got it. This Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And it's going to be a, a judgment for, for any one of us, brothers, man. We, we may not want to go through that. But we're gonna have to endure all things for 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 the for the truth sake, for Yahweh Shema Shah's sake, man, and for prophecy's sake, man. Why? Because prophecy must and it will be fulfilled, man. Right. These are things that a a a, a the Lord is gonna require us to to um endure through. Right. Scripture say, "He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man." This is what we gotta prepare our minds for. Because a hey, hey, um Lord willing, we don't take that chip. Is that's that's what is gonna this is gonna occur if we if we um deny that chip. Mm -hmm. Esau already got the, the, the red list, what the, the, the yellow, um, list. yellow list, list. yep. Already got everything a hey, red list is terminate on site, man. <clears throat> you got it, bro. This revelation 24, <clears throat> and I saw thrones and they sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And that's talking about those who believe in Yahweh by Shemal Shah. This thing is, is serious. Some of us are going to be faced with this, man. Some of us is going to be faced with uh, being beheaded. And the Lord um, had to go up on that cross. He couldn't escape that. Some of us ain't going to be able to escape this. They, uh, us that believe, man. It's going to be to prove our faith. As gold is tried in the fire, so is the acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. You got it, Doc. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded 
for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh. You believe in Yahweh by Shemel Shai now? You trust in the Lord now? Because he's going to put us through this? Right. It said, please turn to bruise his son. Yeah, we yeah, serve yeah. A, 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 a tough power, man. We hey, we we don't even know his ways, bro. He said, "For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways." That's why we just serve him, bro. The scriptures say, "Kiss the sun, we see be angry," <laughs> but he's merciful, man. Mm -hmm. He gonna make us get through that if we gotta go through that. That's the thing. Yep. If we trust in him, you got it, Doc. It says, which had not worshipped the beast nor his image. Never turned on the Lord. Just like brothers is quoting uh, beautiful men. Uh, uh, Joe, Lot, you know, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. That Daniel. is spirit. I was just thinking about that. That is spirit. They, they, they didn't think. Ultimately, our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Mm -hmm. And he, he took that, man. He faced it. Why? Because he knew it was prophecy. And prophecy must and it will be fulfilled. Why? Because it's impossible for the God of the Bible to lie. He can't be no liar. So this will happen, man, to us that believe. If we gotta have that program in our head. It might not, it might not happen to all our brothers, but it could happen to us. We right. that, that can be us. You gotta consider that. No, yes. Really. That's why yeah. the scriptures say, um, Salat, brother finna say something. I, uh, I was just about to say that's why you got to meditate on those things yeah, yeah, right. yeah. daily. See, this, hey. is, this, this is the stuff that the Christian church ain't going into, man. Nah, not the bitter, not the bitterness of the scriptures when it comes to when it comes to the D word death. Oh, what? No, nah, not my God. You know how they <laughs> I'm Hey, I'm just being real. We got families and shit, you know. People that that's why they can't come into this thing because they think about suffering. It's right. about suffering, bro. We're about to go through some shit that that's why we're gonna need the Lord, bro. Daniel, if I can say through the spirit, Daniel probably ain't see that happening like that, getting thrown in the lion's den. You know, you know he ain't see that that like that. they ain't see that turning that, that fire yeah. furnace up that high to get to get to get got doggone disintegrated. Get burnt. Mm -hmm. They didn't get burnt up, but they wrapped their mind around like, "Hey, we gotta go through this. Do what we gonna go through." Uh, the, 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 the the seven sons and Maccabees, you know, they got put to death. Right, with their mother. With their mother, but they went out like some real soldiers for y'all about your mouth shot, and that was pleasing to the Lord, though. So right. whatever we gotta go through to prove ourselves to make it right, and I'm speaking to myself as a man, as a baby, and it's true. But bro, I gotta go through what I gotta go through. Ain't no escaping. Right. To get that crown, shit. Hey, fuck it. Might as well. Down. Right. <laughs> Niggas that go hard for some carnal shit. Yeah. How much more for the Lord where he can rise us up? Where That's he can spirit. save us. That's spirit, bro. I had a balanced scripture when that brother got done. That's one quick verse just going with it. what you just said, brother. Finish. Right. We got it, bro. It says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh, which had not worshipped the beast nor his image, neither had received his mark upon his forehead or in their hands. Mm. And they lived and reigned with Hamashak Yahweh Shai a thousand years. And that's that chip. They didn't bow down to that to the to this system, mm -hmm. to this way of life. The scriptures say, He that shall um Save his life shall lose it, and a lot of people are gonna try and save their life in this day, man. You know, um, that 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 um, the the, the hour of temptation, right? Why? Right. Because right. they haven't been considering um, this thing to come to pass. A lot of people don't believe this, you know, because they're they're under the illusion of Babylon. Mm -hmm. But the that Lord is showing us this daily. They don't so think like, Esau. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say they don't think Esau gonna gonna, gonna turn on them like that. <laughs> right. They they think everything is sweet, and that's what's gonna make them take that thing because they're gonna consider they they babies. You know, mm -hmm. they're gonna consider they loved ones. Really, that's why they're gonna take it, and even if they don't want to take it. They're gonna consider they damn little baby girl there, getting ready to get they. You know, what I'm saying whatever they're gonna do to they they child, they gonna take that shit, man. 
I got that precept if I can get it. Kyle, you got it, bro. This is uh first Maccabees 2 and 64, and it reads, Wherefore you not Kyle. First back of first back of two and sixty-four, and it reads, Wherefore ye my sons be valiant, meaning be brave, and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. And hey, that's what you're gonna have to do in that time, not to receive that chip. You have to be brave and, and, and keep that law, man, because the law tell you not to take that thing. Mm -hmm. You know, for for by it shall ye obtain glory. Yeah. Mm. You know, you're going to reign with Hamashiach for a thousand years. You do just, hey, just stand stiff for him. Don't take that sea hip and and, and and show yourselves men for the law, man. You know, when it comes to that sea hip, you know, you're going to have to, hey, you're going to have to uh, show yourselves men in that day, you know, or bitch up. Yeah, we're gonna have to endure, man. And, and that's that's beautiful, bro. And it's that's why we go over these different accounts, man. It ain't to look good. It ain't, you know, it to, to to you know bullshit around with. It ain't no fairy tale book. It's to build us up in the spirit, right? And to make us uh, mm -hmm. trust in your how about some outside even more. Uh -huh. You got you got your uh, precept corner wall. Con, this is um um First Thessalonians four, and I started verse sixteen. <clears throat> this is sixteen and seventeen, but I'm on um, point sixteen. It says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel." You know, and it's speaking about the return of the Lord, uh, the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah when He comes back, and with the host of angels, man. You know the um. <clears throat> It's good to say the um the, the host the um the um the armies you know the angels man when you come back and make the return to deliver the elect it says and with the trumpet of Yahweh and the dead and her Mashiach shall rise first you know so all those that die you know and for the truth and that die for the um a, a, the name of Yahweh Shah you know that the Lord allowed them to go through that. You know, scripture say that they're going to be risen first, you know, and they're going to be risen first to be a first fruit. <laughs> the king of heaven be risen up in the, in the in the chariots, man. When the Lord comes back, when as um, Matthew 24 say, the Lord's going to give his angels charge a to gather up his elect. And those is going to be the, a, the first fruits of that elect are going to be those that die in the Lord. So you got to look at that as a beautiful thing, you know, because scripture speak about how precious is the death of the Lord's saints. You know, it's the saints of the Israelites, you see, so. Hey, those that die for your how about shame, how shall say, you know, they're gonna they're gonna receive that reward first, man. They're gonna be risen up, you know. That's gonna, it's gonna be an honorable thing, you know. It says, verse 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with with them in the clouds. We're just talking about the chariots, you know. And so I let you know that some some brothers ain't gonna be put to death. Right, exactly. But but you gonna have to go through that straight gate. Yeah, Lord, you have yeah. you when you get bit by uh, venomous. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Beaten, yeah, yeah, kind. You know, we don't know, bro. And, and the most I might have it where you be straight all the way through and be headed up, mm -hmm. <clears throat> whatever the case might be, man. According to His will, <clears throat> right, right. That's right, bro. <clears throat> And the Lord gonna do what He wanna do, man. <laughs> we just gotta trust in Him, man. That's the thing. That, that's yeah. the thing about this truth, bro. Lord, and I got a quick one. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got some lock it, bro. Now it's just a little more. It says, "Um, and He shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord." You know, but that was pretty much the point, man. That scripture say that the dead and Hamashiach gonna be risen first. What you got, Mokwa? On um, this second Timothy 4, 6 through 8, it says, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. And so the this is the apostle Paul speaking, a uh instructing Timothy basically to tell him it, it's my time to die. He understood that he was about to be beheaded. Because if I'm not mistaken, the apostle Paul got beheaded, but the apostle Peter he got crucified upside down. Upside down right. He wanted to be like the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. So and they understood what the scripture say on uh, and said the apostle last who as it were pointing out to death. Mm -hmm. Right? It says second Timothy four and seven. 
I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And that's that's what we're going to have to keep, man. We're going to have to keep the faith no matter what we lose, no matter what we go through, even if we, we have to face death. That's very important. Uh, you true bro- you true and sincere brothers, you true sisters, man, that believe. You sisters gotta have a spirit like the, the like the Maccabee brother, like they mom, man. Mm-hmm. She she yeah. had a great integrity. It, which a hey, most of you women don't got got that integrity, man. No. Pressure. But but it is um some of the one third right. that women uh women that's gonna be delivered, man. Yeah, the lady that has a spirit. That lady, yeah, that's spirit. This hey, second No, nah, you can finish the preset, bro. This second Timothy 4 and 8, it says, Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, mm. which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Mm. Right? Mm. So it's just like the brother going into that, that crown, man. Mm. And at the end of the day, we got to have a mindset, whatever we got to do hey, to receive salvation, and hey, we got to be willing to go through it. Understanding that the Lord said He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Right. Hey, the Lord was with the men even until they death. Hey, look at Stephen, man. That's the spirit, bro. <laughs> the Lord was with him even to his death. Yahweh shot. Hey, the Lord was with him even to his death, and the Lord resurrected him just like He said that He would. So, you know, um, yeah. you gotta cast off that fear and doubt hey, through the faith and trust in Yahweh Shai. Because right. of course we're in the flesh. Well, you know, yeah. we, we keep it real. But at the end of the day, we got to believe more in the Lord more than we trust in our own selves. Because the Lord said that he's going to be with us. Hey, the righteous shall feel no torment. But we understand that, hey, we don't know our lot. Right, 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 right. You got to prepare your mind for this. You got to prepare your spirit that, hey, through hell and high waters, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make it right with my power, man. Hey, hey, hey. If it be of his will, you know what I mean? Not of my will, but of his will. Because at the end of the day, the will of the Lord gonna stand, and we gotta we gotta rock and roll with that. Right. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You got it, bro. That that that's why um prayer is important, man. If I can say, because it's so much that was just said in those couple of verses. Like men want so much of rank and leadership positions. But don't understand what them apostles in the ancient time, which everybody's back. They don't understand what they went through. Them men was stoned, put to death. Afraid. Why you think Yahweh Shah was telling them like, like he was telling men like you don't know what you you don't know what spirit you in. You don't like you got to think about like Yahweh Shah knew. He knew the end, the beginning. He knew what was gonna happen. Like a lot of ain't 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 fully persuaded. In his right. truth, man. And, and beautiful that you said that, bro. Because you think about it, remember how the, um when they was um questioning among themselves if John was gonna die because if they didn't understand what Yahweh Shah was saying and done that I wish that he had tear to our coming. You even think about John the Revelator, right? He got sent to the island of Patmos, Patmos right. mm-hmm. yeah. He didn't, <laughs> <That's beautiful. laughs> he didn't he didn't get beheaded or crucified <laughs> like uh, Apostle Peter, or whatever. But bro, that took a lot of endurance, bro. That's Being a hard it, work. That's the hard like yeah, so he, he didn't know he had to go through that lot. Yeah, right. right. These visions. Ain't no telling and, what he was going through. And he that. got old and still was working on right. his little lines, bro. Salt lines. Salt lines. So you gotta think about captivity it. still. Right. Even enduring, even, even <laughs> getting beamed up, which we all pray. Hey, how about Shema Shalom? What do we be a part of the lit? Even in during to the end, say if you don't get beheaded, say if you don't, but you still out in the midst of death, famine, persecution, wild beasts going to be on the loose. It's so much you're going to go through that even that's going to take a great amount of faith, man. You may go three days without eating and drinking. You still got to trust in the Lord. I yeah, go three days, you might have to eat locusts or beetles. Right. Yeah, are uh, uh, just the herbs. Right. You know, you might run into some herbs, some, right. some plants that you might see that you might have to eat. Sleep outside. BS. Are you, yeah. Are you going to endure that? Right. That that was that's not an easy thing. 
Now, I'm glad we're making this lesson. The brothers chose this topic because through the spirit, bro, this is the mind frame we're supposed to be in because the scriptures say, because like the brother Mark Wall said, through the spirit, you know, we are in the flesh, so we ain't finna act like we high-minded or some tough guys, but the Lord, Rakakwadashta, his Holy Spirit, keep us wholesome, keep you complete where you know you do got help. But the scriptures say in the Apocrypha, give, give, um, give not thy mind over to heaviness because um sorrow having profit yeah, therein yeah. It, it, it's, yeah yeah the water you know because a lot of people gonna bug out being in these um uncomfortable situations when it comes to the the the, the so-called negro latino native american man woman child and even people that say they believe they're gonna bug yep. out they ain't sincere they ain't really banking that they ain't gonna be really banking that they gotta go through a lot of people <clears throat> that shit crazy. A lot of Israelites just seeing the examples that's being put before us, it look like they really don't believe. They really think Babylon is gonna be on forever. Niggas really think that it, it, all hell is not gonna break loose. But looking at the state of the world right now and the things that's happening, we know shit about to go down, man. Mm -hmm. hey, they that's like, it's the best thing ever right now. You got it, I was about to say they let that idiot idiot box uh fool them because you know they they be putting uh programs on on there like we're gonna be in the future in 2030, we're gonna have this and we're gonna have that, you know. And so, so rock back to sleep with it. Yeah. yeah. They keep What's putting that? out Lord daily. They're just gonna say, um, from day to day. Hey, yeah. um, what do you say? They think that the Lord won't do good and not do evil. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to go through the, the, the bad, they just want our good, and that's Great the problem. Gate. Hey, what did Joe tell his wife? You speak as one of the foolish women, foolish should not be right. uh, good at the hand of the most high and not evil. That 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 time gotta come in, in a and a man that's really grounding this thing and understand the word of the Lord, you understand that that's just something that that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. That's the only way that you're gonna make it right. Our, our Lord went through it, but though our Lord went through it, we still gonna have help, man. Right. Yeah. So whatever you said we then, bro. Hey. Whatever we gotta go through, <laughs> we gotta endure it though. Right. We're gonna hey. have help. We got a hey, hey, the Lord gonna be right there with us. But you but gotta do that shit. Whatever we yeah. gotta go through, the scripture hey, the brother got it earlier. Be be uh 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 quoted it, be cheerful when thou art changed to a lower state, because the Lord may not come right then and there when you ask him, man. right? Like you did Joseph. Uh, yeah, got two years. Yeah, he was just sitting in prison. Really, he you were really, yeah, really if you go if if you just think about the whole story. From the time when he was t taken into, like, bro, that was years, like, but the, but that was the whole makeup of the understand. That's why you know the scriptures say, "My thoughts ain't your thoughts." Cause you fuck around and put the Lord in the box, you gonna piss him off. Just trust him. Now I see why the scriptures say he's a, a refuge. He's a he's strength. He's help. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, we are in trouble. But individually, we got to go through our lives. Because the Lord ain't just putting no crown on your head and you ain't went through shit. Right. Mm -hmm. I had to quit one if brother ain't have anything. You got it, bro. Just straight to the point. Um, this is Job. This is Job chapter 38 and verse 3. It says, it says, gird up now thy loins like a man. But what, what the scriptures say, Isaiah 46 and 8, remember this and shoot yourselves men. So just going back off the topic again, it's going to be stuff the Lord ain't going to, like, it, it, it may take time for you to get delivered out of that, or you may just got to go through that. You still got to gird up. Gird up goes into prepare like a fight. You pulling up your pants. You getting ready to strike, jab, hook. That's in the corner sense. But in the, in the spiritual fight, we got to put on the whole armor. We got to know that. Guess what, bro? This is what I signed up for. I got, I got to stand on business. What Jake like to say, but then it's true. We standing on this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, bro. I got yeah. to understand, like, bro. I can't make it without the Lord. He said, bro, for without me, you, you have nothing. Uh, roughly paraphrasing in the Gospels. We, we, bro. It's serious, bro. 
we need the Lord, bro, in these times. We don't know what the hell we about to go through as far as like uh what we gotta go through. You know, we don't know. As far you know? as like as far as like losing yeah. family, losing that yeah. job you thought you was going that you thought you never was gonna lose, and losing your savings, say that the, 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 the crash of this the, yeah, the, the economy go completely broke. No, Jake. Jake probably got you know. Jake got a little saving or something. That ain't gonna mean nothing. <laughs> right. That's why. That's why the scriptures say, "Uh, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him." Right. Because this world, as we know it, is about to pass away. Mm -hmm. Scripture say, "Uh, this this is temporal. Everything is temporary here, bro." You know, everything we see before us, man, is temporary, bro. Here today, go tomorrow. Right. So we, the, we just got to be, we just, like the brothers reading, gird up, gird up nine minds, man. Gird up nine loins. We got to gird up our loins, man, because this thing is about to pop off. And we want to be grounded and rooted in Yahweh Shai, no matter what we got to go through. The scripture says, scribe for the truth for to death. That's serious words, bro. That's why we um, make our bodies a living sacrifice. Uh, Cry yeah. for the truth on to death. And, and, and then the Lord shall fight for thee. That's it. Yeah. The Lord shall push us all the way to the limit to see Whatever. what we're going to do. Yep. Yeah. Because you got to think about that with Apostle Paul. Uh, it, 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 it says, you know, how I told him he's gonna suffer all these things for his name's sake, but his particular journey, you know, being a hey, man hating him, it men, men, men was saying they ain't gonna eat until they, till they, till they kill him, mm -hmm. you know, till they murder him, you know, but um, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, the, the shipwreck, he was, he was bound, getting yeah, he, bit. And a brother got it. He oh, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. Nah, I it. ain't hear you, bro. Forgive me. You got yeah. it. I Good, bro. <laughs> it just is. It's the spirit, bro. <laughs> it's 2 Corinthians 11 and 23. It says, are they ministers of Yahweh? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, mm. in deaths off. Mm. And you got to think about Apostle Paul got put it there for the Lord, sent him back to do the work. <laughs> well, he, he, he appeared in the spirit world. The <laughs> he appeared in the spirit world and he, and he seen things that he said it was it was unlawful to even utter because he couldn't even describe it. And the Lord told him, you got more work to do. That's why he said he was torn between the two. Damn. He said the chapter for the body is to be present with the Lord, but hey, to be down here doing the work is more needful because they need him. But he said that he'd rather be die and be with the Lord than to be in the flesh. If you read it, it right. is the spirit. They, <laughs> he actually, they, I'm going to let the scripture speak. This 2 Corinthians 11 and 24. Of the Jews, five times received our 40 stripes, save one. Mm. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Beat. What was I stoned? Look at all this he had to endure. Let him see it one time because they were trying to come after him. If I'm not mistaken, they had to let him down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. You got it, bro. So lock you. No, no, no. You, you got it. Bro. The things that he he went through and endured. He endured those things, bro. He didn't look back. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop believing in your how about Shemel shot. I don't want to preach no more. Right, right. right. That, that, that but then, uh, then Apostle Paul say, "Woe, woe to me if I preach not the gospel." Not the gospel. That's he right. He still right. had to endure. You, like, bro, I realize what the Lord gave us with these talents, man. And ain't no telling what he saw up there in the spiritual world. You know, the Lord about duality. You know, you got the right hand side, the left hand side. He probably saw, woo. <laughs> hey, that's why. That's why God shouldn't desire a higher position. You just be sincere and diligent, and the Lord will put you where it's fit due time, man. Mm -hmm. What you get is much required. Are you like a lot of guys ain't really to take on? Um, they want to be in a high position, but they ain't really to take on those different tests that's gonna nah. come with that. 
higher yep. position, man. The scripture said, make yourself not many masters, for you shall receive the greater condemnation. Mm. Don't forget, the scripture say, man, uh, he that, uh, uh, no, dang, what's that scripture? Oh, to whom much is given, much is required, man. You know? So the more the more of a portion that you get, hey, the more hey, the Lord gonna require you a, a, a in the spirit, man. You know, you got it up, bro. This second Corinthians eleven and twenty five it said, Thrice was I beaten with rods, mm. once was I stoned, mm -hmm. thrice I suffered shipwreck, a mm -hmm. night and a day I have been in the deep, yeah, in the sea. In the sea. And he That's was yeah, yeah, yeah. and one hey, he he was he was bound he was in he was bound in one of them one of them shit wrecks yeah one of them shit wrecks. he was in chains he was on his way to uh what one of them Caesars or something yeah yeah Kern, Kern. I know exactly it's about in the book of Acts yeah and, you mm -hmm. know he got bit right they had yeah. just left that that haven I think they was going to go to Rome if I'm not mistaken yeah he was going to Rome because he just was talking to a gripper. Mm -hmm. But he was bound though. Shit, right. right? Like I'm just sending that vision, like, bro. Right. Shit. And an he, angel he appeared to him. Uh, an saying, angel appeared to him and told him. That, he took it out my mouth. You got it, bro. Hey, nah, you got it. Right. Hey, this Second Corinthians eleven and twenty six. It says, "In journeys often." In the perils of water, mm. in perils of robbers, and look through all of that, you know, uh, 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 Apostle Paul, um, how the Lord was with him, but he had to go through that. But the Lord delivered him out, man, because he 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 trusted in the Lord, and then he never turned his back on the Lord. He never cursed the Lord, like, "Why are you putting me through this, Lord?" Mm. Nah, bro, he had that Micah spirit. Mm. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh Bashimah Shai because I have yeah. sinned against him until he plead my cause, man. Yeah, that's some integrity, bro. That's some integrity, bro. To be stoned, to be shipwrecked, and to be bound in the sea, you know, to to, 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 to um get beat thrice. Right. 39 stripes. Mm. By, by the time you get the fourth time, you could die. Yeah, that ain't no light stuff. Nah. It's um, it says um, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in Jake perils. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That's what we go through. Israelites, they hate us, bro. They desire to kill us, and because we change our life, because we don't eat pork no more, because we believe in your how about him outside. That's why this thing is super spiritual, bro. Mm -hmm. You get it out. It what? says, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, mm. in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. Stay mm. on stay upon per, per, uh, perilous uh, things, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that last one, you just got uh, perils against false, false brethren. Mm -hmm. So we know, hey, it's nothing new under the sun. We're going to have that here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yep, gotta do it. Uh, get offended, emotional, fall out the truth, come against you, spies, agents. Mm -hmm. We gotta endure all that shit, man. Because we know it's it, it, it could happen, bro. You got it up. In worriness, in painfulness. Because he had a thorn in the flesh. That could have mm. been anything. Yep. Yeah. It could have been it could have been anything. It said in watchings. Often in hunger and thirst, Damn. in fasting, often in cold and nakedness, and fasting often, and he was in the spirit a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, and he was in the spirit a lot, which and the Lord put him through the test of, 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 of not eating, mm -hmm. not drinking. <laughs> But so he could be in the spirit so to can, endure. So he can receive those things like the Lord was telling Idris when that angel kept coming yeah. to Idris. Because that's why the Lord gave Paul that throw in the flesh because he was showing him so many revelations. That's the balance. Oh, yep, that's but you, you know what? Yep. Go back to the beginning, though. The Lord told him he going to suffer many things, bro. So hey, we but, really... Hey, if, if, you, if I can say, Bobby, we shot not to cut you off. Look what what Apostle Paul was doing before he became Apostle yep. Paul. Yep, yep, yep. yep. 
But that lets you know too the Lord merciful. Yeah. What you say? Now say he was he was persecuting the Christians, man. Yeah, yeah. The true the true Christians, man. And he was um, fighting against Yahweh. Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. Dang. The Lord merciful though, bro. Right. That's why we don't know what we did in our past lives, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, we know what we did in this life, and it was wicked as hell. That's why right. we that's why we gotta stay humble, man, and endure right. whatever the Lord put upon us, man. Even though it may not feel good. Right. Gotta stay humble though. You said something then, bro. Look, come tap you. Remember, remember what I spread you from now. Right. Hey, remember nah, you. nah, that's exactly. Hey, bro, that, I'm glad you said that because if you feel the Lord, bro, you had that on your mind. Like, all right, I pull your rap sheet. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Yes. all right, now, nah, you know me. <laughs> and that was wrong with a lot of people right now, if I can say through the spirit. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. They finna find out, though. But you got it, bro. This is the last one. It said, it's 2 Corinthians 11 and 28. It said, beside those things that are without, basically what all he just named that he went through, that come of daily, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. So through all that, what he went through, he still had to be overseers over the different churches. He had to still be fervent. He had to still preach the word. Be diligent. Be diligent. Look over other men's manners. Manage this. Manage that. And still endure. Mm. Hey, that's why. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, and what the scripture said, we are all supposed to do the same diligence, man. Right. And give diligence, make thy calling, let your truth. Really, no excuses, really. Right. When it comes to this truth, you got to get it done. Yeah. Right. You're just right. saying we have not resisted on to blood. to blood. He ain't going through what Apostle Paul went through, bro. Mm -hmm. So hey. it's, it's most definitely <laughs> ain't no excuses, man. Mm -hmm. We can we can give um uh, we can do three videos a week or more, bro. Right. We can you can be a brother to your brother, man. Mm -hmm. If a brother needs you, that uh, uh, you know, and you able to go get him and, and, and you know help that brother out, go do that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, do the one we how about the man outside, man? That's right. That's what we called in this thing for, man. We ain't suffering nearly the things that the men of old went through. Jonah got swallowed by a fish in the belly of hell, bro. Boy, and then came and spit him out on dry ground. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shit, boy. Jake over here, you don't want to, you don't want to come back and serve the Lord. At least we trying, though, bro. Right. At least we trying. We ain't, we ain't the most fluid in the Hebrew. We got the names, though. We, we, we know how to pray. We know how to. Hey, 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 hey at least we trying, bro. Right. And I got we, we 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 um came back to our inheritance, man. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately we're gonna get all of it when we get in the kingdom, you know. But right now we and the scriptures say we're rehearsing the righteous acts, right? And we gotta continue to um endure, constantly endure, man. And, you know, so that we can uh make our calling and election sure, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that we can please our power, because that's what this is about, man. Pleasing your how about your mouth shot, man. Enduring whatever he put upon us because we have sinned against him. That's right. He um uh, uh, he, he didn't sin against us, we sinned right. against him. He created us, we didn't create him. Right. He gave us commandments that we broke, that we <laughs> constantly broke. Right. Each and every one of us. Yep. Whole nation. Yep. That's deep, man. Kayan, you had something. Yeah, I have some. You bring it out, bro. God, let's, um, this is Second Timothy three and eleven, and it reads, "Persecution, affliction, which came unto me at Antioch, and at Iconium, and at Listeria, uh, which is, uh, uh Tim Timothy was a native of. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all." the lord delivered me mm. so hey we know we're gonna go through persecution and suffering but at the end of the day we gotta suffer with him he's gonna deliver us right. 12 yay and all Everybody that say is, as long as we endure bro God. all the men went through different hell 
but they endure in the most high delivered them. Right. That's why I say some things we will we will not be delivered from mm -hmm. endure. Because if we just endure, eventually the Lord is gonna come through for us, even if we gotta die. Like the brother quote we got earlier, the dead and Yahweh about Shai, um uh, mm -hmm. Shara's first. Hey, Yahweh Shai uh, uh, got Rosen from the dead, bro. That, that yeah. gives us hope and faith. Mm -hmm. We ain't just lost out here, man. You got it, Doc. Con, I got another one. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 12. <clears throat> it reads, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Mm. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Mm. Mm. That's, that's playing it to the point, you know. We all nice. know we gotta be, we gotta suffer with them, you know, to receive the kingdom. We're not gonna just walk in the kingdom unscathed. You right. know, we're gonna have to go through tribulation, like the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. So, but if we do that, hey, we're gonna reign with him. And he ain't gonna deny us, man. So before his father. Before his before our heavenly father. That's right. That's all I had though. Okay, right. let's get on um, the closing scripts, man. We're gonna be ready to close out. All right, come. Uh, verse, just one verse. This is um First mm -hmm. Corinthians ten and verse thirteen. It says, "There have no temptation taken you, mm -hmm. such as is common to man." You know, because the things that we go through, man, ain't, ain't nothing that is not common to the natural man in the world. Except the scripture saying, like Andrew seven, that we suffer. A, 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 a straight thing that we may see the why, you know, that we may see a, 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 a Lord willing the kingdom of heaven while the rest of the world, like, uh, ultimately two thirds of our people, they suffer these same things, but they won't see the why. They won't see a, 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 a um, the, the kingdom of heaven on this go round. They're going to have to die on this side, man. You know, and like, if, if I can say, like, we was going on the top, was going to a camp on um, four seers. That's right. what we got, man. That we right. foresee. What's to come? And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim outside that has revealed this mystery onto us, man. Because mm -hmm. we believe simply. I think real, man. So so is his words are plain onto the holy, but a stumbling block onto the wicked, man. That's right. If you ain't right, you ain't gonna get this. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you study, no matter what. If you ain't right, if you ain't right in the spirit, you ain't never gonna get this, man. That's right. That's right. You can't forget you have a shot said you have not chosen me. I've chosen you. That's right. You cannot enter into a malicious soul. That's right. It says, but Yahweh is faithful, mm. who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will right. with the temptation also make a way to escape. That you may be able to bear it. So you gotta think you got it, brother. Nah, you got it, bro. Now I was gonna say you gotta think about it, man. At the end of the day, man, a, a men in this true, you know, women, children, hey, the Lord all know the things that we can bear. The Lord know hey, our measures of faith. You know, everybody in this thing got a different measure of faith. So the Lord's gonna not is the Lord's not a unrighteous to where he's gonna put you through something that he know you're not ready for, man. You know, that's why the men is gonna go through the things that they're gonna go through. Is because they're ultimately, hey, they had a spirit to deal with that. That's why you don't seek to be in another man's position or seek to try to, a a a a be in an office that you're not built for. Because if you're not ready to come with them tribulations, those trials, and those temptations that come with that, that's going to ultimately be your a a the, the reason why you're going to faint in the day of adversity, man. We got to take hold of our measure and the faith that the Lord given us, you know, and we and we push with that, man. The Lord willing, the Lord push us through the end. There's nothing wrong. With being, and at the end of the day, none of us are lesser brothers, but there's nothing wrong with being, you know, a a a, a, a doorkeeper like King David said, man. There's nothing wrong with a, a not having the, the, the spotlight, just being a, a, a the background, a backup singer in this thing, man. Right. You know, which, which we are backup singers because it's really about your house shot. Your house shot, you know. <laughs> so, hey, at the end of the day, man, that's just what the scripture's telling us, man. You know, brothers, they all got different levels of faith, and the Lord said He's not going to tempt us. Over nothing that we can't bear, man. The Lord ain't gonna put you through nothing that He know that you can't get through. So ultimately, whatever we go through in Jacob's trouble, hey, the Lord see it that you know ultimately we can we can bear it and we can endure it, man. So we just have to, you know, have that that, that faith in the Lord, man. You know, 
Because we ain't, we we definitely not going to go through nothing that a, a we are the elect. The Lord's not going to put us through nothing that's too hard for us to get through. You know. Right. You had some high money on the Kaya. Yeah, I had something real quick. Just one you quick verse. Be- this is James chapter one, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. <clears throat> For when he is tried, they go that word tried again, go back to proving. Because that's why you can't lean on to your own understanding. Because you may think you want to, I want to go through it this way. I want all them to make it. I want, no, nah, it don't work like that. No, nah, you got to go through the straight gate, what the Lord ordained for you to go through. And if you really believe like you say you do, show it. Because in that day, it's going to show if you really been believing. That's why the scriptures say, blessed is the man that endured temptation. Because we ain't saved yet. We got to endure. It's going to be shit. We finna go through that. Damn. She won with me. He won with me. Hey, the Lord with me. You know? It says, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Which the Lord have promised to them that love him. And that's the whole ultimate goal. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So by you going through what you're going through, hey man, have that 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 um that optimistic mind frame, like knowing that it's a reward for going through all those, you know, the trials and tribulations, man. That's it though. Yeah, it's what kind of, uh, kind of Yeah, I bring this one out real quick. This is James five and seven. Right. Really- be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandmen waited for the precious fruit of the earth right. and have long patience for it. Hey, you how, now, it's a like you, bro, just to jump in real quick. You got it. Because you have a shot still waiting. Uh, it's a it's a big test of faith doing what we're doing by going out there every week, a hey, week in, a week out, day in and day out, hey, pushing this word and waiting until these prophecies come to pass. A lot of people can't even got enough faith to wait out there. People mm-hmm. getting impatient just for waiting for our hair to break loose or the chip to be implemented. A lot of people ain't going to faint at um, these different false doctrines, get pulled away with that. You know, and just with the day-to-day grind of hey, being a man of the Lord, Mm-hmm. That's gonna take us a, a great amount of endurance, suffering. You got it, Kaya. Until he received the early and latter rain, be or be long patient, or suffer with long patience. So you know we're gonna have to suffer, man, and just be patient until this thing pop off. And when it do, just know that we could we could lose our lives. Our loved ones could lose their lives, and but we're gonna have to stay strong in the Lord, man. And then just know that He'll give it back to us if we mm-hmm. trust in Him, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, like He did Job, you know, He right, gave right. him all His family, He gave them all back to Him, although mm-hmm. He suffered what He went through, you know, He didn't curse the Lord, He was patient, He went through what He had to go through, even if He would have been put to death, you know, but that might happen to us. Right. And you know why? Because he understood that he was a man on a mission. We got to understand. That's the reason why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our time. We understand that this is what the Lord has given to us. He already done laid us down the blueprint. So you, you can't be like, well, shit, I, I hope it this way. No, the Lord said these are the things you have to look out for. These are the things you possibly going to suffer. So when these things come upon us, we're not going to be... um. Um, taken by him or overwhelmed because why we already knew this and we're on a mission we're also doing this so we can get salvation and get the hell up out of here man and the lord said if we endure he's gonna give us a hundred a hundred fold we're gonna get all this shit back right. you're gonna get whoever we lose back bro our israel we just got hey it, it made me think about the avengers man with thanos thanos knew that he was the only one willing to go through with the mission <laughs> that why it ain't about emotions. It ain't about none of that shit. It's all about hey, the Lord's will, bro. And we right. just pray that we be at the right hand side of it. That's right, brothers. Uh, yeah. Um, but I, I had a quick one to finish it off. This um, Judah eight twenty five. It says, "Moreover, let us give thanks to the Lord our power, who triumphed for us, even as He did our fathers. Remember what things He did to Abraham and how He tried Isaac." And what happened to Jacob in Mesopotamia, Syria, when he kept the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother? For he have not tried us in the fire as he did them. 
for the examination of their hearts. Neither have he taken vengeance on us, but the Lord do scourge them that come near unto him to admonish them. Mm. And that's why I'm to say, despise thou not the chest of the Lord. Mm. We, we're being tested now, so we won't be condemned with the world, man. So what we got to go through, we just pray that the Lord have mercy on us, forgive us for our iniquities. We just trying to um, be on the right hand side of prophecy, bro. Because mm. hey, the brother was saying this the other week, and you and you rather get your head cut off than get hit with a missile. Hell yeah, shit, cut that bitch off, shit. Yep. Real shit though, man. Hey, I can't look at the Lord like that, no man. Hell no. Nah. I'd rather die, bro. Look at what the fuck we going through now. We ain't living. What what what, what, you're, on what you're holding on to? <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Because all, all that's going to happen. Ragged house and shit, man. Esau going to work your ass till you die yeah. anyway. 75, you know yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to take you 75 years to retire, bro, if life keep going on. You 65 years old trying to drive. You live yeah. that long. We didn't eat real food. Nah. The fuck we holding on to, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see why Peter was like, man, we look for a new heaven. Hey, and a bro, new earth. earth. Yes. Them yeah. men were ready to get the fuck up out of here, man. You right. got to have to I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here, bro. Yes. Hey, the scripture says, hey, man, we are killed all the day long. We are sheep. They led to the slaughter, man. You know, we constantly yeah. out here in Babylon, the great America. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Going to war. Yeah. Y'all brother had any closing words? Nah, yeah. nah, I had no. Nah. And that's why the scripture say, um, "Hope deferred make of the heart sick, but when it comes, it shall be as a tree of life." And when all these things come to pass, man, it's it gonna be um a big a refreshment to us, man, to really in our spirit because we know that we've been believing in the truth. And Lord willing, the Lord be pleased with us. So you know, with that, we want to uh, end this lesson, man. Lord willing, we pray to be edifying because we only do this for the elect, man. Awesome. Uh -huh. Do the spirit and probably how about Shemel Shah? So, with that, I want to give all glory, our honor, and our praise to the honors to the Apostle Elder Great Millstone, who will teach well. Peace and blessing to the elect. Call you Shalom. 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 Shalom.